Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about Andre Drummond signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to announce it right now. Andre Drummond has signed with the Los Angeles Lakers. He is going to uh, attend to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers after he clears the waiver period. So, obviously, it was always the intention, the Lakers we're going to go all strong and whole all in on Andre Drummond to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers if he was going to get bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, he get, he did get bought out, and we were just waiting after at least two days for Andre Drummond to make a decision. Uh, there's been a lot of teams that were going after this big man, uh, and you know, from the Lakers, the LA Clippers, the Celtics especially, and the uh, Brooklyn Nets, the New York Knicks. I mean, there was a lot of teams. Even the Charlotte Hornets was also interested in Andre Drummond, but finally he picked his destination that he wants to play for, and that is the Los Angeles Lakers. And, you know, we, we got the news, obviously, yesterday, but, you know, it was just hard to tell if he was going to make a, an announcement or just make a decision by saying that I am going to be taking my talents to L.A. to join LeBron and Anthony Davis. But we needed to wait. I mean, Woj and Shams Tarani, I mean, they were really keeping us in the dark when it came to the announcement. It was already there. I mean, he had strong consideration of joining the Los Angeles Lakers. But we just needed to hear the announcement. And finally, his intention is to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers after he clears uh, you know, the waiver uh, list that he's on after uh, getting bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So what's this all means? And uh, personally, guys, before I get into the means and the what's this all means for the Los Angeles Lakers moving forward, let me talk about the Brooklyn Nets just real quick, okay? <laughs> uh, there's... there's Twitter and social media has been swarming around about the Brooklyn Nets getting LaMarcus Aldridge. I was shocked when they signed LaMarcus Aldridge because personally, the intention and the rumor mills and the reports were indicating that LaMarcus Aldridge was going to sign with the Miami Heat. And I was going to love that idea because the East needs some competitiveness. I mean, I am tired of hearing of the Nets signing this player and that player signed uh, Blake Griffin uh, traded for James Harden. I mean, it was all over the place when it came to the Brooklyn Nets' intention is to compete for a championship. And basically, when they got LaMarcus Aldridge, it just sealed the idea that they want to steal a championship this year. I mean, this is basic. This is a super team 101. I mean, this is all indications of that. And, um, I saw a lot of uh, tweets out there, and I think uh, you know there was a lot of comparisons about the greatness of LeBron James and Anthony Davis being the driving force of the NBA, taking on the NBA type of scenario. Uh, I kind of loved that I, that uh, perception that's out there, and obviously it's rightfully so. I mean, this is LeBron James, four-time NBA champion, Anthony Davis, one of the biggest big men of all time, uh, you know, ranked in the one of the best power forwards of all time. And then just by adding on, you know, Andre Drummond to the mix, it kind of puts the Lakers in that top tier of just having the, the, the expectation of winning a championship this year or going to the finals if, if anything. And, uh, you know, it kind of, I mean, these are kind of the tweets that I'm talking about. I mean, there was a tweet that I just loved. Uh, there was just a quote and showed uh, Goku and Vegeta taking on the the Avengers. I mean, the whole Avengers. I mean, it was just a perfect type of tweet that I have to say just fits very well with the Lakers and LeBron and Anthony Davis situation. And now just having Andre Drummond joining the Los Angeles Lakers, it just fits very well in the schemes of where the Lakers are moving forward now. And uh, it takes now the total of the roster of 14. They still have a last roster spot, which I really think that the Lakers will pursue possibly a 3 and D type of player, but uh, maybe a guard. That's why I mentioned in my last video uh, about my top contenders. Uh, obviously, the number one was Andre Drummond, and the Lakers uh, made that happen. Secondly is the 3 and D, maybe like a slash 
uh, guard uh, situation. Um, the Otto Porter, Porter Jr., uh, you know, his circumstances with the the Orlando Magic is still up in the air. Um, all indication is that he's, they're going to keep him. But, you know, there is also Jeff Teagues who just got waived. And, uh, you know, it still remains to be seen about his status and who he will potentially join. Um, and, but, you know, there's also Avery Bradley as well. So there's a lot of scenarios of where the Lakers want to use that last roster spot for. They could potentially go for a guard or three and D type of player, but you know, still remains to be seen of that sort of status. But you know, it's all about Andre Drummond uh, and the him signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. It's just uh, so predicted, and obviously, it just shows that the Lakers are now top contenders in the Western Conference. Uh, they still have to get through the LA Clippers and the Denver Nuggets, the Utah Jazz, but you know. By having Andre Drummond joining the Los Angeles Lakers, it just builds huge wonders of the Lakers when it comes to uh, you know the center position and just uh, his skill set with LeBron and Anthony Davis just fits very well to the scheme of where the Lakers are heading when it comes to uh, their their de defensive uh, defensive ability and also the rebound ability is going to be monstrous for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, it is just going to be very exciting of how the Lakers will eulogize, uh, <laughs> you know, Andre Drummond when it's all said and done. And uh, I'm just so excited, so excited of hearing Andre Drummond joining the Los Angeles Lakers finally. Uh, they're like, and you know, it's just. Um, it just it just fits it just fits i just love it and just seeing the the schemes of things it just it just works wonders for the los angeles lakers moving forward and uh you know it, you know it's just um I, I i basically said everything in this video now i mean the expectation now is just uh what the lakers are going to use when it comes to the last roster spot uh it, they could potentially go for a three and D type of player, a guard scenario, but you know, still remains to be seen about that scenario. But as it stands right now, when it comes to the Lakers, uh, you know, judging by what the, uh, the potential starting lineup will be, it will obviously be Dennis Schroeder, KCP, uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, uh, once they return from injuries. And then you have Lamar Sorry, uh, no, not Lamarcus Aldridge. Uh, uh, Andre Drummond. I'm still thinking about that uh, that ridiculous uh, signee that the Lake that the uh, Brooklyn Nets made when it came to Lamarcus Aldridge. I mean, you need all that just to beat LeBron and Anthony Davis and the Lakers squad. I mean. <laughs> I mean, Stephen A. Smith made this, uh, he made it very clear, and I kind of, I really agree with him on this. It's like, it's like the Brooklyn Nets is stealing a championship this year. I mean, that's what it looks like. They're having this super team of KD, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, uh, you know, uh, and Blake Griffin, and you also have the added addition, and that is um, LaMarcus Aldridge. So, and plus a key type of players, uh, you know, uh, DeAndre Jordan stuff. So uh, you need all that just to beat LeBron James. I mean, if that's not like a veto type of scenario uh, that the league should do with this particular team, then I don't know what is. I mean, this is the same scenario of what the Lakers uh, had when they came to 2011 when they traded for Chris Paul to join uh, at that time, uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, they all made it a huge issue. David Stern uh, basically vetoed that scenario, and we could have basically had uh, a championship, maybe number 18 at this time. But, you know, um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, <laughs> the scenario ended that way, and so far. Uh, you know, the Brooklyn Nets uh, kind of, I guess, beat the system, if you will. So, uh, and they basically, I mean, they, they're saying it's a super team. I don't think it's a super team, but, you know, uh, it is a type of super team scenario. But uh, at the end of the day, the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, you know, they managed to 
get somebody from the buyout market that can be a huge help to the Lakers uh, rebounding, the protecting the rim and uh, defensive side, and that is uh, Andre Drummond. He has finally joined the Los Angeles Lakers, and I am just all on cloud nine. I mean, I am so <laughs> happy that the Lakers managed to get Andre Drummond to join the Los Angeles Lakers and due to the circumstances that they're in with shorthanded players from LeBron and Anthony Davis being out uh, you know it's just um, kind of puts things into kind of a perspective of how Andre Drummond will fit into the mix uh, so it remains to be seen when he will start playing but you know I think he needs a couple of days because he just signed with the Los Angeles Lakers he attends to but you know he signed the Los Angeles Lakers uh, that's basically what what the message is so um i'm i'm so excited i'm just on i'm on cloud nine i'm just in you know just in laker heaven if you will so uh i'm just so happy to see this lakers team uh building uh uh this type of um force uh to be reckoned with when it comes to a threat to the uh to the Western Conference and also a bit of the uh, Eastern Conference as well. I mean, they are coming. They are not out of the uh, championship scenario. And um, we just have to see about the status of LeBron and Anthony Davis when they will come back. Um, judging by all scenarios, Anthony Davis is uh, doing some, uh, you know, practice uh, uh, on the floor lately uh, and, you know, just getting his... Uh, bearings in uh, but you know I think he needs uh, maybe like two to three weeks to come back and then the status of LeBron James he still needs like three to six weeks to come back but uh, you know he could come back uh, sometimes sooner but you know still may be seen about that but uh, um and like I mentioned, with the last roster spot, uh, still remains to be seen uh, what Rob Palenka will use on that last roster spot. But knowing uh, Rob Palenka for the past years, uh, uh, he usually leaves that last roster spot to the to the last minute uh, because that's what they basically did when it came to um, the whole uh, the whole um, Dion Waiters situation last season. Uh, but, uh, you know, you never know. Uh, if the Lakers are desperate, they could potentially sign somebody right away. It's just still remains to be seen. Who will that be? And uh, I brought up some names uh, from A.V. Bradley, Jeff Teagues. Uh, uh, you know, there's also some other, maybe another center they can bring in. But, you know, still remains to be seen about that. But uh, so far, the Lakers are looking good. And I'm just so impressed. <laughs> I basically lost all of my energy in my excitement in the beginning of this video. I'm just so happy. I'm just so, like, no word can describe about my my appreciation of what Rob Palenka, the Lakers, did to get Andre Drummond to the Los Angeles Lakers because uh, I was just tired of seeing the Brooklyn Nets getting players after players to build a team to beat LeBron James. I mean, I just uh, hated that scenario, and I'm just glad that the Lakers pulled off something in this uh, in this scenario. And um, we, you know, I'm just really can't wait to see what Andre Drummond is made of when it comes to. Uh, his debut once uh, he joins the Los Angeles Lakers in these next couple of games and uh, uh, You know, I just really can't wait can't wait to see what Andre Drummond is made of with the purple and gold So guys, please comment down below like subscribe to the channel share my videos guys Please give me your reactions your uh, thoughts about Andre Drummond joining the Los Angeles Lakers uh, Are you guys feeling the same excitement as I am or if you guys just think, yeah, you know, it's Andre Drummond. You know, we should just keep it down and just, you know, our our priorities now is to start winning games and stuff and preparing ourselves for the playoffs to face teams like the L.A. Clippers, uh, the Utah Jazz, the Denver Nuggets. I mean, and also when it comes to the finals, uh, put our fo put all our focus on possibly the Brooklyn Nets, maybe the Miami Heats again maybe the uh the boston celtics i mean there's a lot of expectations now for the lakers moving forward and uh, rightfully so because we are the reigning defending champs uh and uh you know we just uh, have the the perception is out there that we are going for another repeat and uh that's still there so i am just um 
looking forward to the idea of the Lakers going for uh, another uh, opportunity for a championship this year and uh, with the added addition to Andre Drummond alongside LeBron and Anthony Davis it would just be a monstrous big three when it's all said and done and I just really can't wait to see what Andre Drummond alongside LeBron and Anthony Davis are going to be made of but you know as of right now we need to see how Andre Drummond will play with the Los Angeles Lakers just uh, how it is right now and uh, you know it's just going to be monstrous monstrous to see this man grab 14 to 15 rebounds a game uh, giving us 12 to 15 points a game I mean he is a former all-star so you know he is has the ability to bring that all-star ability to the Lakers uh, in any given moment and uh, just really can't wait can't wait and like I said guys when it comes to that last roster spot if anything does come up when it comes to that uh, particular spot uh, I will deliver you all everything that goes down when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers and that sort of predicament and everything when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers in general uh, I will deliver you all on this channel and all my social media sites uh, if you guys please show me the love and support on all my social media sites Facebook Instagram Twitter I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites and of course subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video thanks so much for watching go Lakers Andre Drummond welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers take it easy guys